Hi everybody, this is Elle, and I am back today to do a review on some wine. Now, today I am going to be trying this. In case you didn't know, Snoop Dogg has a wine with a brand called 19 Crimes. It's called the Snoop Cali Red. Um, it says Snoop up here as well. Um... And now this is a red wine. I think it's more of a red blend. Um, I don't think it's like a dry red wine. I really don't. Um, so yes, he put it out this summer, actually. Um, it is a combination of Syrah, Zinfandel, and Merlot. Now it's only 5% Merlot and 30% Zif uh, no, Zinfandel and about 65% um Syrah or 60 I don't know math but you know what I'm saying it's mostly Syrah um so yes I am going to give this a taste this is my first time tasting it um I never bought it before or seen it at the homie's house before anything so I'm definitely gonna give it a try <laughs> cheers <laughs> okay Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Okay. It's, um, it's not sweet. It's not sweet. Um, it's real subtle. It's real subtle. Um, it's definitely not a dessert wine. It's, it's cool. It just threw me off a little bit. It's, it, but it's, it's, it's cool. It, it doesn't taste bad. But it's very subtle. Very subtle. I could drink this. I could definitely taste the Merlot. I guess it's my palate. But I could definitely taste the Mer Merlot and the, the uh, Zinfandel. Um, so this, this is... Okay. I could get with this. I could get with this. Now, as far as the pairings... I read that it should, well, Snoop himself recommended that it be paired with barbecue baby back ribs um, with a brown sugar rub. Um, I don't eat pork. I don't do this wine. I have not done this wine in 11 years. So I don't know what I'm about to pair this with. Maybe a turkey burger or something. Uh, I don't know. But it seemed like he was saying it could be paired with something that goes on the grill. Now, if you're in Cali... It's December right now. So if you're in Cali and you got a grill in the backyard or whatever, do it up. But I'm in New York. It's cold. I don't have no grill. So I can't grill nothing right now. I don't have no grill. So um, I'm just going to drink it like that. Um, but it's, it's cool. It's cool. Um, it's described as having like vanilla and chocolate notes and being fruit led. Um, but... That's for all them connoisseurs and all of that. I don't know what that means. I just know that it's very subtle. Uh, put it like this. So, I like Moscato. I like Taylor Port. I like any sweet red blend. I like dessert wines. I like sweet wines. This is not that. Um, it's like Taylor Port, but it takes it down all the way down. Like, it tones it. If you ever had a port or a Taylor Port, it takes it all. This is like all the way down like it's real smooth it's smooth that i will say Ugh. it's smooth it's cold too i have mine cold um one thing i thought was really cool is the cork um S -S snoop is on the cork hey snoop snoop is right here chilling i think that's dope i like that that's that's cool <laughs> That's cool. Now, 19 Crimes, I believe the name is based on the 19 crimes that English criminals committed and they, back in like, the, I think the 18th or 19th century. And as their punishment, they were sent to Australia. Um, I, I believe if you go on the, on the 19 Crimes website, they will show you the list of 19 crimes that the people back then um committed um now i i'm in new york so if you're in new york and you want to try this 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 is in new york um i ordered mine off drizzly because we're in a pandemic and i'm not going outside um so 
I ordered mine. Um, I believe it was like, it was $12. It was $12. It's not expensive. Not expensive at all. Um, is and it's good. It's good. I would I would buy it again. And that says a lot for somebody who drink Taylor Port. Um, I would definitely buy it again. I would buy it again. It's 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 it's, it's tasty. It's 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 cool. It's real mellow, real smooth. Um, it's 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 good. I, I'm surprised that it only has five percent Merlot. It just tastes like it has a little more. But I could also taste the Syrah, you know, uh, you know, so I, 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 all right, okay, all right. If you're a wine lover, um, and I think if you like dry wine, I think you would like this. I think with this particular wine, if you like dry wine or if you like sweet wine, you'll like this. You'll like this. I, th I think this is for everybody. I think this is for everybody. I think it's pretty cool. Um, on the Food and Wine website, they described it as having a smoky oak uh, vanilla undertone. If you know what that means, yeah, that's what that's what that has. Um, so yes, and if you like Syrah, you know this is sixty percent. Uh, Syrah. So, you know, if you want to try it, you know, why not support something that Snoop does? You know, that's Uncle Snoop. That's Uncle Snoop. Why not, why not support the OG of the OG? Shout out to all my West Coast people, too. I love the West Coast. Y'all wildin' with the pandemic, though. Go home. Go home. Your governor is like, yo, go home. Like, let me shut this whole joint down. Like, go home. Like, Go home. It's sunny all year. The sun is not going anywhere. Go home. You see New York, we in the house. <laughs> Been in the house chilling. Like, no. We want to live. Go home. Shout out to the West Coast. Go home. Um, but yes, this is this is cool. I think this is for everybody. I think this is a universal wine. Um, it's affordable. It's only $12. And it's 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 a good size. As well, this is, uh, uh, I don't know, um, 750 milliliters. Like, I mean, but you can see the size. It's a good size. I'm not sure if it comes in any other size. It's the only size I saw on Drizzly. Drizzly is the app, by the way, where you can order your wines and liquors and have them delivered from your local liquor store. That is how I do my wine shopping now that we are in COVID. Um, but this is the 19 Crimes Snoop Cali Red. Um, this is cool. It comes in a cork. There's no twist off cap. Um, if you don't, I suggest investing in one of those, uh, like it's, it's like a reusable cap thing for wine bottles, like, like bottles like this, you stick it in the top so you can preserve it. Cause I'm not going to drink all of this. Um, so I have something I could put in the top of it and it'll be, it'll be fine. I'll be able to, um, preserve it, um, for a few days, but it's, it's, it's cool. Let me take a little sip. Let me hold on. <laughs> yeah, it's not like, it's not dry. It's not dry, but it's not sweet either. Um, but again, it could also depend on your palate. Everybody has a different palate too. Um, as you see, when I first tasted it, I was like, you know, I was like, whoa, um, you know, but I mean, it's good. It's good. I would definitely recommend giving this a purchase. Like if you're having a, well, nobody should be having gatherings, but you know, post COVID, um, if you're having a gathering, why not get this? Um, and, uh, you know, cause I, I, th I think, like I said, I think it's universal. I think, you know, I don't think a lot of people will mind it. I really don't think a lot of people would mind it. And it's a good size and it's affordable. And why not support the, the OG, triple OG Snoop Dogg? Um, so, all right, y'all. I'm going to let y'all go. I'm going I'm to sip on my little wine. <laughs> so, you know, head over to your little liquor store around the way or whatever and get you some Snoop Cali Red from 19 Crimes. Okay, peace.